Helena Hutchins' loved ones and colleagues are making sure her legacy lives on. The late Rust cinematographer was honored as one of the year's top changemakers at the RAPS Power Women's Summit in West Hollywood this week, where her husband, Matthew, was in attendance. Matthew did not address the crowd, but was spotted sharing a hug with AFI Dean Susan Ruskin. Helena was an AFI alum and a memorial scholarship to the Institute has been established in her name. Ahead of the event, the RAP founder and CEO Sharon Waxman shared with Access Hollywood on the red carpet why it was so important to pay tribute to Helena and how her tragic death has prompted what she believes is necessary change on set. We had to take a moment to celebrate her. She was really at the peak of her career. She's, and we're gonna show a reel of her work. Her work was incredible. There aren't a lot of female cinematographers working today. It's still a really dominant male profession in, uh, of many behind the scenes on sets. So the fact that she was a female cinematographer was, and, and in such a, uh, you know, sort of flourishing part of her career, just made it all the more tragic that she should be uh, cut down and in, in the prime of life as a woman, as a mother. 42-year-old Hutchins was killed in October when Rust star and producer Alec Baldwin discharged a prop gun during rehearsal on the film's New Mexico set. A projectile struck Hutchins in the chest and director Jules Souza in the shoulder. Souza is currently recovering from his injuries. According to legal documents obtained by Access, Assistant Director Dave Halls told Baldwin that the weapon was, quote, cold or without live rounds before he picked it up. Lawyers for Rust Armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed have maintained that the 24-year-old has, quote, no idea how a live round could have been loaded into the gun and have suggested the possibility that dummy rounds on set had been tampered with. Baldwin, Halls, and Gutierrez-Reed are all cooperating with the investigation, Santa Fe County authorities have said. No charges have been filed. In his first sit-down interview since the tragedy, Baldwin claimed to George Stephanopoulos that he did not pull the trigger. Last month, Helena's family and close friends gathered for a private memorial service where her ashes were interred. Matt issued a statement reflecting on the continued grieving process he shares with their nine-year-old son, saying, quote, Helena was the love of my life, and our loss of her has devastated our family's dreams. We feel the silence of her being forever gone as a suffocating stillness in our home. Our love and adoration for her grows as we tell her story, and we hope her work can inspire filmmakers and storytellers around the world. We thank the many generous supporters who have been so thoughtful in our time of loss.